you got Georgia on the ropes at home down 13 to 12. You are down a point. And being down a point, the thing you decide to do on 4th and 8, which becomes 4th and 13 thanks to a false start penalty when you had already made this decision, you decide the best thing for you to do is to punt the football. I don't know when Mark Stoops turned into Kirk Ferentz, but I hate it. I I, I, I hate it. I, I hate it. Delayed the live show so that we could see the end of this game right here. All so I could watch Mark Stoops throw away what I thought was a great opportunity to just get your kicker in field goal range. The boy had already shown you he good from 55. Put it on Brock Vandergriff and try to make it happen. Or better yet, run a, run a halfback draw because it was very clear that Brock Vandergriff was going to be running for his life all night long against the Georgia fe- defense that was feeling some kind of way about him transferring, I'm sure. Or maybe they weren't thinking about him at all. Maybe they weren't thinking about him at all. But you give the ball back to Georgia, and you are selling out against the run. And in selling out against the run, you get beat on what you have to know is coming on a, an outside. The boy is standing next to the boundary. Because you know where they're going to try to go with the football. There ain't no time left. They're going to try to. I was never so upset as to when I saw homie step out of bounds on that one. Because now you're in a position where you have to declare down, right? Declare down means you don't want to score a touchdown because it's 13 to 12, right? Normally, you score six. You go for one, that's seven. Get a ball back to Kentucky, they can score eight. Well, let's say you go for two. They can still come back and they can try. Right? You got to get that two point conversion. You put yourself in a position where if you go for the two point and you fail, you give the ball back to him anyway. So now you have to declare down. And this is the third time that I have seen Georgia go to Kentucky and damn near piss away the season. And Mark Stoops just refuses to take it from Kirby Smart. I get that they boys, I get that they hang out, but I just don't understand. I don't get it. I need somebody to make me understand. You think that much of your defense? You, you were, you're down by one after getting stomped on by South Carolina last week. You're down by one to the number one team in the country. The presumptive favorite to win the national championship. And you can turn your season around right now. Right now. And what do you decide to do? You punt the damn football. I don't. This is why I play offense. This is why I play quarterback because I want the ball. And if you Brock Vandegrift, you got to feel some kind of way about, A, the way that you played tonight, 12 of 25, 97 yards, three sacks, but no picks, no picks, right? Ground game was working, right? Had 170 yards on the ground, even if you had to carry the ball 45 times. Still, defense, they was doing what they could. You got the number one team in the country on the on the ropes, the presumptive number one overall draft pick in Carson Beck, depending on where you land on this thing, on the ropes, and you give him the ball back? You know, I can't, I can't, I can't help foolish. I can't fix, I can't fix foolish. I can't fix fool, F-O-O-L, on the forehead. I can't do that. I'm beside myself for Kentucky fans because y'all deserved an opportunity to go win this out. Try to win it. L- lose the game, but try to win it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're down by one. You don't have a lead. There's nothing to punt toward. You don't need to play defense. This is a perfect situation for every one of us that grows up throwing footballs in the backyard. This is what you want. You draw it up as a kid playing preschool. I got Georgia on the ropes. Give me the ball. I did a live show earlier this week because I got a call from the little homie. One of the things that I love is that I'm getting old, and because I'm getting old, all the big homies are having little homies. 
and all the big homies are introducing their little homies to the show. And if you're watching it live, thank you so much. Subscribe to the show. We just over went over 107,000 subscribers. We'd love for you to join the family. 64% of the people that watch this show do not subscribe. So please do me a favor, hit that button. Because the more people that subscribe, the bigger the show gets, the bigger the show gets, the bigger the, the family can get, the bigger the community can get. And it's a fun community. We have a lot of fun. But one of the reasons that I've been able to do this for so long is because the big homies have little homies. And the little homies, they use their YouTube to watch me, which I I will never, ever get over. It's like me and Paw Patrol. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the little homie called me up. And he said, RJ, maybe I need to be playing quarterback for Oklahoma. Because <laughs> Jackson Arnold doesn't look that good. And I'm like, maybe you're right. And maybe my daddy need to call plays. Well, he, he does know what you like to run. And then he said, RJ, what do we do when we're down? Because that's the sign off. And I said, run four verticals. And that's what I'm looking at with Kentucky. I'm going, run four verticals. Give your boys a shot. Matter of fact, this is what happened with the famous Texas Tech, Texas game. In 08, I'm watching Tech. They got a chance to knock off a top-ranked Texas program. Get the biggest win they've ever had in their lives. And what did I get to see? But Graham Harrell and Michael Crabtree running up on Mike Leach and going, Dog, let us go do this. We got them. And to which Mike Leach just shrugged his shoulder and said, Run four verticals. Walks off. Love that. And what they do? You know exactly what they did. Michael Crabtree went toe-tapping down the sideline into the end zone. It's the stuff that we dream about. And I feel like Mark Stoops robbed his boys of that. You know, I'm watching the game. They got the... <sighs> Go win it. That's, 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 that's all I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to go win it. I'm, I'm, I, I'm asking you to... I'm asking you to let these men that have chosen to play for you get a shot to go win this football game. That's... That's what I'm asking. And I don't think that that's much to ask. I think that's I think that's what we all sign up for, man. I think that's what we sign up for as fans. I think that's what you sign up for as players. I think that's exactly what the Big Blue Nation expected, right? If we're going to lose it, lose it on our terms. Especially at home. And you're already, you got a loss. You got nothing to protect. You're not a ranked program. You're a midfield team in a really, really stacked SEC and you happen to catch Georgia on a night when all of us would like to catch Georgia. On a night when all of us are going, why doesn't that Georgia team show up to play us? And if it feels like I am absolutely, absolutely on one about this, it's because I watched Oklahoma do damn near the same thing, okay? 2017, Oklahoma plays Georgia in the Rose Bowl. What do I find out about Georgia in the Rose Bowl is that Oklahoma's up 17-0. to And then we squib kick right before halftime, and the game gets out of hand. We lose it in double overtime, right? I don't want anybody to play football thinking they got to protect the lead. I never want anybody to play football believing that you simply have to protect the lead. Yeah, I get it. It's part of the calculus. We will do it. It will become part of what you're doing, especially if it feels like the game is getting out of hand for you, but there is a time and a place for this. As a matter of fact, my, Mark Stoops knows there's a time and a place for this. You know how he knows there's a time and a place for this? He knows there's a time and a pla place for this because he threw out the analytics on what he's going to do on short yardage situations on fourth down. He, 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 told, he told the broadcast team as much. Now I'm going with my gut. I'm going with what I feel. And what you felt was down one point that you were somehow going to get the ball back with enough time to go down and score. And Georgia knows damn well that's not how this goes. They, 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 they know damn well that you give us this ball back, we're not going to give you this ball back until there's just a half second left and make you feel, feel like you got a shot. So you get to go in, the, uh, in, the, you get to go in and say, hey, we got the ball back. You got the ball back down 13 to 12 when you could have gone up 15 to 13, and then you can trot out your beloved defense. Instead, 
of Kentucky pulls off a miraculous win, we get Georgia survives. That's the headline for tonight. Georgia survives. I don't want to see nobody surviving. I don't. I want to see somebody take it. Take it. It was yours. Take it. Instead, I've got to talk about number one Georgia being number one Georgia, and it's going to be a blip on the resume, and we're going to forget about it by the time we got to play ball again. My goodness, man. My goodness.